everybody. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank y'all so much for coming back. I do appreciate all of you guys being here. My name is Shalise. I'm 39. I'm a wife, mama, work to be. My family of five is trying to achieve financial freedom and hopefully retire early or relax early, whatever we want to do early. Okay. So um, if you want some inspiration, some motivation, we are a big investor, share real accounts. You know, you see my face, you see the journey. Um, just regular people people trying to make it <laughs> simply put right trying to make it so remember i'm not a financial advisor i'm not a fiduciary but like i said i'm an investor like you in the trenches you're going to see some screenshots because you know i share the numbers so that you can see that when you do it right it works also please be aware of scammers spammers whatsapp fake bots people are crazy out there you want to make sure that you use wisdom when in doubt send me an email mymetradertube at gmail.com always confirm again guys let's talk a little bit about five etfs that we are not only buying and uh, long term and holding long term but collectively we have over a hundred thousand dollars invested in so yeah it's a real one today okay five etfs that my husband and i own and our taxable accounts that is structured for early retirement all pay a dividend and collectively we have a hundred thousand dollars invested in these five etfs that we are buying and holding forever when i say forever at least 10 15 20 years right because forever can change because life can change but you know long term so the first one is splg now y'all know how i feel about splg i talked about this shout out to um boss man living i'll have his um, screen name on the screen because he was the one who initially introduced me to this last year and I told him I was going to do some research and I did loved it was like oh my goodness everybody talks about VU but there's a whole lot of ETFs that track the S&P 500 same way that VU does pretty much have the same returns pay a dividend as well great investment firm behind it it's just you know it's not as popular but still tracks the same so um SPLG has been one of the OGs in our for the past, you know, little while now. We've been really, really enjoying it. I've made several videos about SPLG. Again, it tracks the S&P 500. So the top 500 companies in the stock market. So those are like your Magnificent Seven. So your Amazon, your Google, your Microsoft, your NVIDIA, your um, Berkshire Hathaway. It's like all of the big, big goats, you know, companies. That is what it tracks, just like VU. And, you know, year to date, I believe SPLG is up. Give me some rope here. About 12%, give or take a couple points, but over 12% is up year to date. And so I think long term, our goal is to get about 25,000. I mean, it's, we're trying to just slow and steady, right? But that's what it is. We have SPLG and Interactive Brokers and Robinhood. Again, both of these are taxable brokerages if you do want to sign up right it doesn't cost you anything but you you're like oh i want to try that platform out my referral links are always down below it, you know you'll get free stock i'll get free stock it's a great way to support your sister over here on this channel and we just you know are investing as a community so moving on to vti now i've talked about why i like vti a lot if you've been following me for a little bit you know i have a special needs son and trying to really talk with him about what finances let alone investing is a little bit challenging because remember he thinks differently um still a great kid and all that he just processes information differently so i my husband and i knew that if we wanted to just simply introduce him to what investing is we needed to meet him at his level and so we really have been teaching him the only thing that he needs to invest in the only stock he needs to know the only fund he needs to know is v t i that's it. That that gives him access to the, the entire top stock market. He has um, access to technology. He has access to healthcare and financials and real estate and utilities. He gets a dividend still. His risk is low. It's with a great investment firm like Vanguard. And that is what we have been putting a lot of his money in. And this is why my husband and I invest in this for ourselves. Could we invest in another total stock market ETF? Absolutely. But it's a, it holds a special place for me. And, 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 you know, there may be others, but VTI, because that's the one that we first introduced him to. He will be 14 this year. And it's just, that's, you know, VTI just has a special place in my heart. You will see our current VTI position up on your screen over in Interactive Brokers. I think long-term, and you know, honestly, VTI is one of those companies that you just never sell. <laughs> like, 
you just you, you live on the dividend even if you have to sell a little bit so that you can pay for something but ideally you can like hold it forever ever right um and i like the fact that he has access to not just the big companies but new companies or small cap companies mid cap companies you know companies from all over the spectrum okay and so i really do like vti let me know do any of you invest um, in VTI as well. Like, you know, do you, or do you own a fund that invests in the total stock market? Not really so much the S&P 500, like VOO, but like the total stock market. Okay. And it's a great way to own like almost 4,000 companies, I believe, or 3,000, one of the two, my brain is fried. I was outside working in the yard, but it's, a, it's thousands of companies that you have access to through VTI. And I think it's a great way to manage risk not financial advice but i mean like who doesn't want to manage risk um the third etf that we have that pays a dividend that we're going to buy and hold forever ever is schd now y'all know i've been talking about schd for the longest um i really do like it our goal for june is to get 550 shares um and so just slowly chugging along i remember when we got to 100 shares there's several of you who have like thousands of shares in SCHG. And again, I love the community that we have over here because everyone in the comments is encouraging each other, right? Those who are just starting, who may have half a share and those who may have been investing in SCHD for a few years and have 5,000 shares. And everyone is encouraging each other to just continue dollar cost average, be wise with your spending, any extra money you get, just put it in the market because long-term, the markets come back. Don't try to time the market. I've tried, failed many times. Every time I thought the market was going to fall, it's just go up. So dollar cost average into good companies, into good ETFs, and you will be fine, okay? Uh, but yeah, I really do love SCHD. And I like that it's not a whole, whole, whole lot of technology. We already own a whole lot of technology via ETFs and individual stocks. Like we own Microsoft, we own Apple, we own Google, we own NVIDIA. So I, I want to be a little bit more diversified. And I think SCHD brings that. And I love that they are a great dividend uh, paying ETF as well. Moving on to the fourth one, and that's DGRO. This is one of my other favorites as well. This one has been really good to us. You'll see the position up on your screen. This one has been really, really good to us um, as well. Not a whole lot of volatility, just buy and hold. Um, I like how it's not only managed, but the allocations of the different sectors inside of this ETF. It also pays a dividend, and DGRO pays out in June. So this month it's a Q and a quarter end, excuse me, um, dividend payer. So it pays out four times a year. Um, I think what all of these do, all of the ones that I'm talking about today pay out, um, four times a year. That is in March, June, September, and December. So one reason why I'm always tracking things on a spreadsheet is because it allows me to project and to see. Okay. So I really do like DGRO. I think long-term, maybe about $25,000. Again, just our next goal slowly just putting money in okay and then last but certainly not least is vym so this is the fan the vanguard high yield dividend etf i have this over in robin hood you will see a screenshot right up on your screen as well um because though robin hood has several individual companies i also like having funds there to make sure that our risk um is balanced and so vym is I would say relatively new. We started in it in December of last year. Um, and we have a couple thousand invested so far in VYM. I think long term, I'm thinking again about 25,000. Now we're not expecting to achieve or hit any of our long term goals at the end of this year, but I think setting goals helps to keep us accountable, right? So that we don't forget it's the middle of the year. I mean, June in July ish is like the middle of the year. So, you know, it's, it's, all of the goals that we all made back in January, all of those affirmations and all of that, it's important to make sure that we remember it because before we know it, it'll be September, it'll be the end of the summer and we'll have just three months, four months left of the year and you know, we'll find ourselves behind. So we don't want to be behind. Yeah, things happen, life happens, but we want to make sure that as much as we can, we do the best that we can with what we have, okay? And so um, to see like just five, just five dividend ETFs that we are buying and holding long-term, having $100,000 collectively in all five of these, 
I'm telling you guys, it's a testament to just buying and holding. My husband and I work very hard for the money that we have. And so it's so important to make sure that we are putting this money to you so that if something happens, if life happens, let's say the job, you know, switches and you will let go or, you know, whatever the case is, we'll have this money to fall back on. We won't have to stress out so much about unemployment and picking up a side hustle because we already did some of the groundwork now so again guys let me know down below if you own any of um the etf that i mentioned today just to recap it was splg vti schd dgro and vym yeah i'm saying the tickers i rarely say the actual name of these etfs or companies anymore it's just investor habit i say a lot of the ticker symbols now but those are the five. So let me know if you own any of those and what is your share size goal? If you want your dividend books, my next video will be our dividend report for the month of May. Um, get it down below. I have a digital and I have um, physical copies. You can check out the information down below. If you want to sign up for our dividend and finance group, we meet for two hours every month. Information is always down below. But again, thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye-bye.